All right, so here we're gonna review of the Evip Q V12 or IVIPQ12. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm gonna be calling it the Evip Q12. So this is a 6BA2DD set, and um, you're probably wondering why is there a yellow envelope instead of the box on my desk, and that is because this is your unboxing experience. Amazing, right? Anyway, yes, it just came like this uh, from AliExpress directly from here, just in this case. So just open up the case and everything's inside of here. So I guess they save money on the box and stuff. There's normally three sets of tips, but I cannot find my small set. So there's the medium and large in here. Um, you get the IEMs here in their own little individual bags. Uh, it is a modular cable, which we'll talk about in a second. And yeah, that's it. Case is decent. Uh, it's nice and thin, which I like because it's easier to pocket thinner cases, but it is a little big. Otherwise, though, it's a fine case. I have no problem with it. All right, so let's talk, take the IMs out here. As you can see, these are massive, absolutely huge, and a lot of fingerprints all over it. So got the other one here. All right. But yeah, there is a lot of drivers in here too. There are um, eight drivers total, and this does retail for $185, so around $200. So that's a pretty good value, in my opinion, for the amount of drivers, at least. We're going to talk about how it sounds in a second. Let me take these out. So, let's talk about the cable real quick, then we'll get into comfort, and then uh, sound. This cable, right? So, VipQ is actually a company that does sell cables, like, you know, just by themselves. And I don't know how they managed to get such a bad cable to include it with these, especially since they, they sell cables individually. Like, it looks like it's decent, like, um, at first, which is what I was actually excited about when I saw it. I was like, hey, this cable doesn't look so bad. It actually looks pretty good, and it's, it's modular. For this price, it's pretty nice to have a modular cable. But this thing sticks to itself so much. Like, it's really rubbery. Like, worse than the tri-audio cable rubbery. Like, this thing, and also, it's very, you know, janky. And see how it, like, it just twists on itself, by itself. It's very annoying to use. And on top of that, the modular system is awful. Like, I mean, this is like a proven system. So many people have made modular cables. I don't know why they couldn't do it. Like, so you align these dots, right? And first of all, when you snap it into place, it doesn't even align correctly. And then you push it in, right? But when you plug this in and then you unplug it, it just, this part comes out. Wait, okay, right now it's not happening, but this part is not, it's not strong enough normally. I don't know why it's harder to pull it out now while I'm on camera, but this part will be held by your music player or like device more often than this part will stick onto the actual connector. So it's not a firm enough connection in my opinion. And it's just not a quality feeling connection. It just feels like you're kind of just shoving something in that doesn't, it's not supposed to fit. It doesn't feel right. But I mean, that's the cable. You can always just get a third party cable and it will work just fine. Let's talk about now the fit and comfort and all that. So, first of all, the looks, actually. Let's talk about the looks. I think that these look good. Um, it is a little bit, you know, just gen like a generic, uh, you know, swirly resin look. But it is nice. Let me see if the... There we go. Let's try to get this to focus a little better here. Just to get these swirls of silver inside this black resin shell. It's, it's a slightly see-through. I guess you can kind of see that on camera, some of the BAs. If you shine a light through it, you can see the drivers inside. And, uh, yeah, it's... It's overall fine look. There's no problem with it. I mean, I think it looks all right. Um, and for the price, good build quality. Now let's talk about the fit. Now these are huge IEMs. For, com for comparison in size, let me get like the um, Performer 8, which has the same amount of drivers in it, but it does have one less dynamic. Um, it is a pretty massive IEM. Here's the oxygen for comparison. Like this is this is like three oxygens in your ear. And when you put this in your ear, it does stick out a lot. At least it sticks out for me. But it actually fits pretty comfortably. It's really well shaped. They really did a good job designing the shell size. Like the, the, the shaping of the, of the shell was done really well. To the point where like it's, it's really comfortable to wear. Even though it's, uh, it's so big. I can wear these pretty comfortably for a pretty decent amount of time. And I actually use um, these black tips the, that they come with, not spin fits. And they're comfortable. I mean, and also uh, we will talk about the sound difference between this and um, spin fits in a second. But yeah, now let's actually talk about sound anyway, right, right away. Let's just talk about it now. There's nothing else to talk about. So 
Uh, with the spin fits, they sound decent, but the vocals get pushed back a little bit, and the stage does expand because it does put the ear IEMs a little bit further away from your the from the ear. Um, but these do come in a little bit closer. It's a deeper fit with these black tips, even with the larger black tips. So I usually use these black tips. Actually, I like I like them more with the black tips. So we're going to be talking about them with the black tips in these comparisons and in the overall description of the sound. Now, let's talk about bass mids and highs. So the bass, in my opinion, is the most like of a letdown for me for this set, especially because it's a two dynamic driver set. I expected some pretty nice hitting bass and well it's not muddy at all it's got good like um good like tactileness i guess you could say it's it's got like an it has a very controlled hit but it lacks any bit of texture rumble it's kind of like um like a a, a, pl a poor quality planar bass where it's like it's very one note it doesn't have a lot of texture or or like, you know, like decay, anything, it's just dun, dun. That's how the bass sounds to me, at least. Uh, especially compared to other sets like we're going to talk about, like the um, the Performer 8 and the Oxygen. Uh, yeah. So, going on to the mid-range. This is the best part of the set to me. The mid-range is excellent. Excellent mid-range. Really cannot express that enough. Great vocals. I don't know why this is so many so dirty. Anyway, so it's great vocals. You have great instruments, very detailed. Excellent stage too, by the way. That comes into play later. We'll talk about that in a bit. But excellent detail. Really, you can pick out things very easily. And it's a brighter leaning set. It's not a warm set. But this is like detail in the mid-range I did not expect at this price, at $200 price, especially from this like company I've never heard of actually until I bought these on AliExpress, you know. I saw these, they're like around $200, and I'm like, man, they look interesting, but do I want to like feel like I'm kind of throwing money in like a fire? But I kind of really, curiosity killed me, so I wanted to get this set. So I got it, and I was pleasantly surprised, especially by this mid-range. This mid-range is what made me think, wow, this set actually is pretty damn good. Um, so, mid-range is great. Male vocals, great. Female vocals have excellent extension in this set. Really, the the, the upper the upper the upper uh, mid range, beautiful, excellent uh, overall mid range in all aspects. But you do get a little bit of sibilance in the ch noises when we talk. We're going to the treble now, I guess. So go on to the treble. The treble is very well detailed, very good quality, but a little bit too um, too much for some people. It's it's got a little bit too much extension for some people. Like if you are sensitive to sibilance, I wouldn't recommend this set. This set sound overall really reminds me of the Performer Eight. That's why I actually brought it here, because the Performer Eight is a decent amount more expensive. It's around almost a hundred dollars more, right? And the sound quality is very close. The Performer Eight, we're gonna talk about it more in a second, but it is better in my opinion. But this does hit very close. And I think that I think that this is actually more of a detailed set than the Performer 8. I think the Performer 8 is less detailed than this is. But the highs can get a little bit out of control on the um, on the V12. Uh, it's a very nice set, uh, um, very nice highs, very detailed. But again, if you have that sensitivity to treble, this is not for you. You shouldn't get them. I am moderately sensitive to siblings. And I am kind of iffy on some some tracks, like, ooh, that was kind of much, you know, the ch noises kind of get to me over time. And, you know, some songs are just a little bit too much treble for me. But if you're a treble head, this is probably the best set you can get in the price range, in my opinion. So if you love treble and you really love detail, you're going to like this set. It's got great stage too, great imaging. I really like the imaging on these. Uh, overall amazing in almost every aspect you know except you know the bass like i said it's one note it's not bad at this price i'd say it's around a slightly below average of what i'd expect at 200 dollars. maybe maybe yeah it's just a little bit below average but the mid-range far exceeds my expectations at the 200 dollars price point and also the treble is very detailed and if you can handle that little bit of spiciness in the treble then these are become probably one of the probably the best set in my opinion you can buy it at this price right now, at least, I have I I was just honestly shocked because really it's 
it's around the same level almost of the Performer 8 to me at a $100 less price point. It's crazy. It's crazy. And from this company that I've never really heard of. Um, it, it's a really, really beautiful set. So we're going to bring in now the Performer 8 fully. And also I'm going to bring in the Oxygen here. Um, and because the reason I bring the Oxygen is because this is my favorite set at $200 for me personally. And this is also around $200. That's why I'm bringing these in. And then we have the Performer 8 here because I find the signature to be so damn similar. Now, the, the Performer 8 in comparison to the VIP Q, uh, the V12, we'll say, uh, it's more mature sounding. It's more refined. It, it's not as messy in certain aspects. I'd say the, the mid-range on the Performer 8 is a little bit less detailed, but it's more well presented. It's more modest, I guess you could say. Like, it's not as much in your face, and yet it still has the beauty, like of the of the V12. While the V12 is a little bit more intense, a little bit more rough around the edges, but it's still a beautiful mid range, of course, as I've been saying on the V12. The highs, though, uh, as I said in my perform rate review. If you want to get more details, look at it in my channel. But in over in a nutshell. It's a very great, um, a very good highs that gets super slightly sensitive to sibilance. Then you'll have pro. If, if you have, if you're very, very sensitive to sibilance, then you might have a small issue. But otherwise, this does balance really well between extension and preventing, you know, sibilance uh, fatigue. So overall, the the treble I think is better controlled on the Performer Eight. But you're gonna get more detail and overall more treble and treble extension on the V12. If you really are a treble head, the V12 is something I cannot recommend enough. Bass-wise, the bass is equally pronounced on both of these, maybe a little bit more pronounced on the VIP-Q, slightly, but around the same. But the quality on the Performer 8 far surpasses the quality on the V12 in the bass department. It's more dynamic, it's more punchy, maybe it's a little bit tighter on the V12, but you overall get a more natural sounding and more detailed sounding bass on the Performer 8. But again, this is $100 more while you're getting get these for, well, $185. So in a value perspective, if you can handle the treble, this is a better value to me. Now let's talk about the Oxygen and the V12. Now this is a bit of a weird comparison because these are so different in sound. They're really doing different things. This is a much more relaxed set, much less details. I will say the V12 really surpasses the oxygen in detail. But the oxygen has a much better tonality, a much smoother presence, a much more natural sounding vocals. And overall, just, I don't know how to explain. It has, its it's just so well done. Everything is just so evenly, perfectly done in just smooth, relaxing sound which is why I love the Oxygen so much and I bring it up in so many reviews. It's still my favorite set under two, around $200, so under $200, even with the um, V12 existing. But the, the, the V12 definitely does put up a fight with the Oxygen for me. And depending on if you want that very high treble extension with extreme details, you're going to want the V12. Now, in soundstage, which one has you know the most soundstage here, I'd say the Oxygen does beat out them both in soundstage by a little bit. Then these two have approximately the same amount of stage, which is a good amount of stage. Let's say your head is here, you're going to have about this much stage, for, which is pretty decent. And then for the Oxygen, it's going to be like this much, I think. You are getting good stage on these. I mean, it's a big IEM, so it makes sense. But yeah, you're going to get a great stage on these. Great imaging too. I think you're going to get better imaging on the VIP QV12 than you are going to get on the Oxygen. Now, which one of these two have better imaging? Uh, I couldn't say, to be fair. I think it's probably equal, but leaning more towards the V12 actually in imaging, but it's so slight, almost negligible. So overall, the technicalities on the V12 is something of a marvel in this price point, really impressive. Um, I think that that pretty much covers everything I wanna cover. Um, I hope this video helped out, and uh, yeah, see ya!